Welcome everyone, here is how to use Apple Intelligence in your iPhone Air. So let's first of all turn on the feature by opening up settings. Then scroll all the way down until you see Apple Intelligence in Siri. And if this one is off, either tap the turn on text or tap this toggle to turn on Apple Intelligence. Now, if you don't have a turn on option, the reason why this is the case is because your Siri request language needs to have your correct region. And if you head into general, then language and region, the region in your iPhone must be set correctly. The region being set correctly means set it to where you live right now. Then try again, it should work. If still not working, that means your country or region doesn't have Apple intelligence, you should try and change your Siri request language and your iPhone region to English United States. If that works, great. If not, you're out of luck. So once Apple intelligence has been turned on, you should see this text that shows saying that it's going to download the files. So you can see it says downloading support for Apple intelligence. If it shows this, then Apple intelligence won't work until the files have downloaded. To start the file download, your iPhone must be plugged in to a charger and then you must be on Wi-Fi and then this will download. This can take up to an hour. Most of the time, it should just take five to 10 minutes. If you don't see anything here, all of the files have already downloaded and you're good to go. Once that text is gone, we can now enjoy the features. So the first one is when you long press the power button, you can have the new AI Siri. So this Siri is overall smarter but it also has a second feature where if I go into Siri and then say, ask ChatGPT, so I'm gonna do that now, ask ChatGPT, you will see it will allow you to communicate with the ChatGPT AI assistant. So you can say any request and it will go through ChatGPT instead of Siri. And if a request you ask is too complicated for Siri, then what it will do is it will automatically forward you to the ChatGPT AI assistant. You see this camera button right here. If you long press the camera button, this will open up a feature called visual intelligence. When you're in visual intelligence, you can take a picture of something and then you can use Google search to find out what that image is, or you can use ChatGPT to figure out what the image is as well. If this button, if you long press it, it's not activating visual intelligence. Just going to your settings, find the camera setting. And what you're looking for is you see the camera control at the top, tap into this one and just make sure under launch visual intelligence, press and hold is enabled like that. If we open up the app store and we search for image playgrounds, if you have Apple intelligence only, you can use the image playground app created by Apple. So when I open this one, this is an AI image generator. So we'll tap on continue. You can type in text to create the image, or if you swipe across, you can just use these themes. And if you just tap a bunch of them and combine them together, it will create that AI image. Now under style, if you tap into this one, you can change the style that the AI image is generated in. If I open up the notes app, and this isn't just notes, but not all apps will support this. So I'm just showing the notes app. You can see when I open up my keyboard, I have this little Apple intelligence icon. And when I tap into this one, I have the AI writing tools. So friendly professional is referring to rewriting your text in a friendly way, professional way, a concise way. Everything else here is self-explanatory and you can use this text bar to just type in what changes you want. At the bottom, you have compose and with the compose feature, you can write a prompt and it will just write a load of text. So let's do story of Apple iPhone. And then when you do this, it will use chat GPT to just write a load of paragraphs. And you can see, look how quick that is. And then just tap the tick when you're happy and tap the tick again. You can see it does that as well. Now, if I open up the pen and I just draw something like this, boom, you can see there is this new 
wands. This is an AI wands. And when I tap on the wands, tap continue. If you just circle a sketch, you can turn it into a full on image. So I'm going to circle this. And then we just need to describe it a little bit further. So I drew a car and a sketch and I'll put in realistic looking. We'll tap on this one. And then let's see what it does. Now it seems to have not understood that that's a car. It looks like a banana cucumber car, but uh, that's all right. But you can see it generates AI images based on your sketches. While in phone calls, while in FaceTime calls, you can tap the triple dots at the bottom left. And then you have this new live translation feature. So let's tap into live translation and then the language we want to translate from just choose what language the other person speaking and then let's wait for these uh, models to complete. Now that it's downloaded, I tap start translation and it will translate in real time. So when I speak English, the other person will hear French. When they speak French, I will hear English and it works in real time. It's very nice. And you tap this one here if you want to stop the translation. You can also use live translation in messages. So just long press a message you want to translate and then tap the translate option and then choose translate conversation. And then every message you send will be translated. Every message they send will be translated and it will show on both sides as well. So I'll choose translate conversation. We'll choose the French and you can see when it shows translating French, it is using that auto translate. With AI, your notifications will be summarized. So if I go into my settings and then I look for the notifications option. Inside of here, you have the Apple intelligence. You can use AI to prioritize notifications, AI to summarize notifications. And just throughout the operating system overall, you will notice that Apple intelligence is being used to you know, summarize stuff, simplify stuff. So just keep that one in mind. Finally, in the messages, if you tap plus, there is the Genmoji feature. And this is kind of similar to Image Playground, but it allows you to generate an AI emoji. So you can describe an emoji with text, or you can tap the plus here, and then just choose two emojis. So I'll choose this one, and I'll tap plus and choose this one, and it will merge those two emojis together. You could do three, four, five, six, seven emojis merged. And so there we go. And you can swipe across if you want to take a look again, just like that and tap tick when you're happy. And you can see it will create that emoji as a sticker, which you can send. Keep in mind the AI emojis can't be sent anywhere. So just keep that one in mind. So that is Apple intelligence in the iPhone air with software updates. There'll be more features and real quick, YouTube do not promote my videos like they used to. So if you found this video useful, it really would mean the world to me if you hit the like button down below and just left a comment saying, hey, thanks for the walkthrough or hey, I found this video useful. And if you did not find this video useful, if you have any questions, any concerns, just let me know in the comment section. I will try my best to get back to you. Have a nice rest of your day. Bye bye.